the Bible talks about the Christ within. The Christ within being the Word, the Word that was on manifest before creation of physical and spiritual organisms. It is the organizing factor of the entire universe and is of the essence of love and wisdom. If love and wisdom were the father mother principles combined together, they form the three, which is the word or the Christ. The Bible talks about the Christ within. When the Christ is speaking through Jesus in the book, <clears throat> it is the essence of truth, love, and wisdom encapsulated into a human language and distilled to us through the word made flesh or the Christ within us who does the redeeming process as Christ says it is the Christ within you that actually activates this internal process now that means that for 2,000 years let's say uh, Jesus was uh, let's just say he was historical and and it was a hundred percent true that Christ came down as a physical human being on earth and spoke through an individual um, some of the theosophical schools state this depending on what church or esoteric religion you're in uh, or f follow um, it determines whether or not you know you believe whether it's an allegory or not so let's just say it was historical so for 2,000 years then, everyone who has a personal relationship with Jesus or the Christ has this transcendental relationship with a being of love and wisdom, intelligence, compassion, but they've never seen the being in person. He's never come directly to their front door and knocked in a physical human form. Some religions even claim that they speak to Jesus in human form. Now, <clears throat> most people can say that they haven't seen Jesus the Christ in human form. But they have felt his presence and has acted upon his will and have renewed their mind in his spirit. <clears throat> this is because <clears throat> the Christ is a spirit. And the Spirit of God dwelleth within man and woman. And when we speak from that higher principle, we are communing with the Spirit, and the Word is being made flesh through our physical bodies when we speak. Now, <clears throat> it says the Lord doesn't dwell in temples made by hammer or sword. So in the Bible, when the Lord is speaking to the prophets in these temples, were automatically led to the understanding that these are not literal temples and <clears throat> the only temple that was made in the universe without hammer or sword is none other than the universe itself being a temple and our physical human bodies the entire universe is the solar temple of Solomon soul and moon sun and moon but not the physical objects or transparent portals that we see in the heavens but what they represent beyond them what put them there the intelligence that manifests them we have the physical bodies as temples that <clears throat> Once it, the individual comes to a correct understanding of knowledge, <clears throat> as Jesus says, with lack of knowledge, my people perish. With that, with that knowledge of self, we manifest that spirit within our temple. And then the Christ within us saves us. Everyone has an individual personal relationship with the Lord because the Lord is not a f historical person in the mundane terms of it. Because <clears throat> that's like saying I have a personal relationship with um, John Lennon or <clears throat> I have a personal relationship with Bob Marley. I've never met Bob Marley. Um, I 
listen to his music. I may say that I listen to Mozart or I study under a particular philosopher and I maybe get gain insights from them in a transcendental way. But to say that I know them personally in a physical form would be obtruse. So everyone who has a personal relationship with the Lord obviously already understands the transcendental nature of Christ, that Christ is a transcendental being that presides over the unmanifest and manifest worlds. So with that understanding, we can come to the conclusion that the transcendental Christ that we actually worship um, through love, peace, and understanding <clears throat> We're able to come into direct contact with the living word. The word dwells and hovers above the waters of the nervous system, the waters of the body. The rivers of Eden are in the physical body, but also flow through through the pleroma and the supernal realms and manifest the astral, causal and mental planes and physical planes. The different rivers, also the different, the blood, the saliva, the sexual fluids, the salt of the earth. It's all referring alchemically to the physical organisms manifested by the word, because every physical organism in the universe is manifested by the word. Sound comes first. Sound manifests form. And this is already proven scientifically. When the natural man is subdued and we come to our higher senses, we experience the Christ within us. And that Christ within us allows us to be more than just beast or automatons of nature. We actually are self-cognizant, self-reflecting. We have a sense of communal brotherhood and sisterhood with all of humanity. That part of us within that doesn't have race, religion, or sect and does not discriminate against people, persons, or any type of um, discrimination or judgment. Like the Tao Te Ching says, <clears throat> the, uh, the bad man is the good man's job. We're all here to take care of each other. We're all here to elevate each other. We're here to distinguish evil and transmute it and allow everyone to redeem themselves through Christ within. And that's how you resurrect from this plane as an immortal soul and continue living in the great beyond. <clears throat> a lot of people say <clears throat> Rome created Christianity as just a mix of pagan beliefs and religions and turn them all into one that's where the whole doctrine of the you know worshiping an actual physical historical person that's going to take away all you know your sins for you just by mere belief which that belief in and of itself was promoted by martin luther when the roman catholic church decided to transition into that belief system as well before you could just pay or do certain indulgences to be forgiven in the afterlife and then they changed to the other extreme. It was mere belief. <clears throat> Jesus Christ said, faith without works is dead. This should simply end the argument between esoteric Freemasonic ideas of ancient Christianity and Catholicism. As an initiate, Max Hindel claimed both schools are actually um, have a purpose in this universe and produce different souls. Souls of fire and souls of water. All religions are stepping stools and understanding tools uh, to help reclaim the, <clears throat> the bondage of the soul in the animalistic tendencies of the physical nature of humanity. Without the physical nature of humanity and going against these tempting forces, man would not be able to form an actual form or a soul form after death. That's why in the astral plane, people look like people. Once you're in the physical plane, no matter how long it is, you qualify for the astral realm. You exist in form. Before you were formless, now you're in form. 
you had to come here to be gestated in the womb, the tomb, the womb of Mary. <clears throat> Joseph, being the foster father of the son or the solar logos or the word, meaning the primordial force of the father outpoured forth and was organized by the Demiurge, Joseph. Alvin Boy Kuhn states they've taken these transcendental gods or transcendental beings, being Joseph, the carpenter of the universe, Mary, the mother of all living, and the Christ, the inner consciousness within man that is of the voice or the logos of truth, love, and wisdom, or the first cause, the part of us that is <clears throat> from and united the, from the first cause of the dawn of the creation of eons of the universe. And they've taken these transcendental, allegorical, tr um, supernal beings and have placed them in the physical realm and in sense that God has fallen to earth. God has fallen to earth and become a literal historical uh, fact rather than a transcendental truth. Everyone has been cultivating the Christ within because without it, you wouldn't be able to leave this plane. There are many earthbound souls that are earthbound after death through false religious beliefs in misinterpreted beliefs of reincarnation and misinterpreted religious beliefs of the literal. And instead of cultivating the Christ within, that in the Bible says that is what saves you, <clears throat> they've asked the physical Jesus to help them when in the Bible the Jesus the Lord or the Christ, or if you want to say it's a historical person said in that time, ask me for nothing. And we've disregarded our, the quote, faith without works is dead. <clears throat> and we've gone on just a path of belief, just a path of faith with no real transmuted understanding. We have not transmuted the water into wine and come to the spiritual eternal conclusion of the real universal church that is trying to be co-opted by various men and organizations in different faucets of life and trying to claim something that's transcendental, something that is very psychic, something that is very eternal, something that is very supernal, and are trying to monopolize it. <clears throat> now in the East, it's already evident. Then they say the paraatman or God within the heart and they understand that God is one, sees all, hears all, but is also within each one's heart. And obviously Christians have to understand this fact because if they have a personal relationship with Jesus and they've never met him in the historical plane, then obviously they have a cultivation of a personal relationship with the Christ spirit, which then in my opinion proves that the Christ is transcendental. But to seers of ancient wisdom, we are not looking for proof or evidence. I don't need any type of proof or evidence to understand the soul and the essence of God and Christ. And I'm not looking for historical personages, uh, pers any type of historical personage to confirm my beliefs in God and the afterlife and the immortality of the soul, the resurrection of the splendid body. But it just takes you back to that quote that ends all argument. Faith without works is dead. You need both.